welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you here with me on tonight's show, especially as it is a special show as we are at home with Hayley, but on location at the King's Theatre in Portsmouth, catching up with some of the stars from this year's Pompey Panto. We'll be catching up first of all with Sean Smith. That is after a little sneaky peek backstage. Now, as you know, we are here at the King's Theatre in Portsmouth. So uh, while no one's here, have a quick look round. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. It is brilliant. And obviously we all remember you from X Factor. That show that's finished now. I know. I was really heartbroken when I found that out. Were you? A little. I mean, obviously I've got a lot of emotions tied to it, but I think it was one of those things that was inevitable. You know, the, 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 the last few series haven't quite been up to, you know, back in my day when I was on it. Back in your <laughs> day. Good you old know, days. Was, I, I think... You know, it was always going to happen, um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of sad emotions thinking back to it, and you know, it, it'll be a shame if it gets forgotten. I yeah. think. Oh, we don't ever Part forget. Partly for, no. for my career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah of well, you are in Panto uh, this year in your hometown of Portsmouth. Here we are at the King's Theatre. How does it feel to be back? I mean, it's the most beautiful theatre ever. It is. I've got so many memories from when I was a young kid being here, watching Panto, even watching all the shows that came here. And, and uh, it, to me, it's, there's nothing quite like it. It's, it's an emotional one for me being in this beautiful theatre, de definitely. And you're playing Jack. Have you learnt your lines yet? Oh, no. We've, we've got to do Christmas for that. Oh. <laughs> I haven't even given it a thought. We, okay. we sort of read through it a couple of times. And let me tell you, it's really, really funny. Yeah, and, it's going to uh, be a great show this year. Incredible. Yes, um, it's a great cast. It's really fun. Yeah, definitely. We yeah. like that. So get your tickets. Come and see us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to go into your first song choice. Hit me with it. I'm going to go with... Jess Clin, hold my hand. I said Ching. Clin then instead of Glyn. <laughs> Jess Clin, <laughs> just to confirm. Hold my hand. Um, love it. Again, I did it in uh, Panto once. We had so much fun uh, singing it, and I just think she's got an incredible voice, great she does. songwriter, and I love all the stuff she does. So well, enjoy this one, peeps. Enjoy. Standing in a crowded room, and I can't see her face. Now, Sean, we have got a quick fire question round for you. How excited are you? I'm, I'm very excited. Very Let's excited do it. excited for this. Let's do it. Uh, something that would surprise us about you. Um, when I was a school kid, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I got allowed to go from school, so I got suspended. What? I know, Sean I know. Smith. Awful. That's you wouldn't expect that from someone who's got this clean cut image, but <laughs> no. it wasn't for a re very, very bad reason. Basically, I. Uh, Portsmouth, who are obviously my hometown football club, they uh, they went on a really good FA Cup run, and I dyed my hair blue, and I got in and got sent home, and and uh, until my hair grew back, I couldn't even skin it off. So until it grew back, How I had to stay that? away. I think it was around about a week in the end. Yeah, but I was just I was thinking I'll do it again, get off school again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you've learned your lesson, Sean Smith. Uh, best thing on the Nando's menu? Oh, chicken butterfly pre pre fries. Oh, do you have like double chips? Um, I know what you're saying because you can also get another one. Yeah, that's but what no, I do. I'm going to be a bit boring with that because I'll go probably go for the super greens salad with, with that. I know it is boring. Oh, bore off. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you could only have one app on your phone, what would it be? It's got to be Instagram. It's got to be Insta. I think, yeah, this, it's the way to get out to everybody. And, um, you know, I think I find photos, I mean, some, some of TikTok's really fun, but I just find photos good to sort of look for and go, oh, they look great, give it a like, you know? And, yeah, and it's, it's, it's your yeah, thing. Yeah, and it's, yeah, and people, people want to get in touch, they kind of know to go there with me now, so. Follow him, how do we follow oh, you? Oh, oh, that. <laughs> Shameless plug. I love that. <laughs> uh, karaoke song. Um, oh, it's always been Robbie Williams' Angels. Yes, driving song. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go with Jess Glynn. I, I always listen to Jess Glynn. Down the M27. Yeah, it always gets me going. Like it. Uh, party trick. I'm scared. Oh, goodness me. Um, the only one I can think of is Man in a Hole. Okay. <laughs> Man in a Hole. Go on, so, then. Um, oh, this is going to be so cringe, but... Um, uh, Please 
let me know uh, what you think about that. <laughs> please uh, don't. Actually, please send don't. Sean a DM, uh, your response <laughs> to that. Uh, best thing about Pompeii? Got to be the King's Theatre here in Southsea. Yes. Come and see us in Panto. Yes. Shameless plug yet again. Absolutely. And is that your favourite song to sing? Um, to sing? Wow. Oh, oh. I'm going to go with Human by The Killers. I love that. When I'm, when I'm performing it live, I, I put so much passion into it and I think that um, all, all the audience will sing it back to me. And it's just it's one that always gets me, gets the hair standing up on the back yeah, of my neck. like that. And what song are you going to choose for us today? Um, I think I'm going to go with Spice Girls number, Who Do You Think You Are? The reason for this, another shameless plug is coming now. Um, I've got a, no, a new album out. It's Swing for the 90s and um, it's all songs from the 90s done in swing and this is one of like them. It. And, uh, yeah, I can't help but plug. I'm sorry about that. No, we love you for that. We're going to put details on the screen below of how you can check out Sean's album. And here is a bit of girl power. The race is on to get out of the bottom. Welcome back to At Home with Hayley, a very special edition at the King's Theatre in Portsmouth on tonight's show. And here is what happened when I caught up with actor James Percy. James Percy, it's great to have you on the show. Thank How are you? Thank you I'm very good. How are you? <laughs> it's lovely to have you here. I'm very good, thank you. And I know that you are playing Silly Billy in this year's Pompey Panto. I came to I see am. you last year and you did make me laugh. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> good to know. I was trying to be very serious, so that's very rude of you. Please do not laugh again. <laughs> He's brilliant. And how uh, did you start in theatre? What's your background? Give us the goth. Uh, I think I was just like, I was just the funny kid at school, really. I think and that was just because I was rubbish at sport. Just like really? terrible at oh. all of them, not even the easy sports. I was what, like rubbish. rounders? R rounders, actually pretty good. <laughs> oh. Pretty good at rounders. Okay. Unless good. I was fielding, I had to run. <laughs> Too much effort. Okay. Yeah, whereas but sort of being funny was just sort of a way of... You know, people not thinking I was just a geek. Because I was clearly geeky, but you, you want to have something to, you're not just a geek. Right, OK, yeah. like that. And obviously you've done a lot of acting. You told mm. me you've been out in America. Yeah. What have you been up to? So I've played Harry Potter for a long time. Wow. Yeah, I played Harry Potter in a show called Potted Potter, which was a two-man Harry Potter parody, uh, where we did all seven books in 70 minutes um, and got to go all over the world with that, which was very fun. Um, but it's great to be back here in Portsmouth and to be able to perform in this Amazing beauty. Theater. And Isn't you live in nice? Portsmouth, don't you? I do, I do live You're in Portsmouth. You're proper Pompey. Yeah, not originally. I've got to hold my hands up, not originally. Okay, I'm originally well, we'll let from you Yorkshire. off. Okay, but you love Pompey now. I do love Pompey. Bit yeah. of South Sea, <laughs> Baffin's Pond, he loves all it. All of it. You've mentioned all the highlights, that's it. <laughs> Amazing. Well, what is your first song choice for us on the show? Okay, Hit us. so um, I'm a bit of an 80s baby. He is. I know I look like a 90s baby. <laughs> well, but, uh, I in am your opinion. <laughs> I'm going to go with one of my favourite films, Back to the Future. Oh. Huey Lewis and the News, oh. The Power of Love. You're taking us back now. I am. Can you sing that? No. OK, we'll play it out instead. Here we go. Now, James. Yes. We're going to put you under pressure. Oh. We want to know three reasons why we should come and see you. Yes. <laughs> specifically you. Specifically in me. In the Pompey Panto. No, I can't, I can't even think of one for that. I'm sorry. Uh, let's broaden it. OK. Let's make it just the Panto in general. Right. Um, uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, that. look at the set. I mean, look how showbiz that is. Very showbiz, very jazz hands. Exactly. If you want yeah. a little bit of showbiz, there's going to be a lot of showbiz, actually. Great musical numbers. Yeah. We've got an all-star cast. We have. Some of them are one star, but still all-star <laughs> cast. Um, <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be so much fun. And yes. it's just so nice to get out and be back yeah, in a theatre. Isn't it? Isn't it nice being in here? Yes. I mean, we've been locked in our houses for 18 months. I've been in joggers for most of last year. I had delivery the whole year. Exactly. Tracky bottoms, watching this morning. So it's nice just to just get dressed up a little bit. Yes. I mean, you've got leather on today. I What's know, this and going they're actually on? thermal, so I'm sweating a lot. It's well. not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's nice just to get yes. dressed up and come out. Yes, make sure you do. And again, we're going to put details on the screen below of how you can get tickets for this year's Pompey Panto. Now, what is your next song choice okay. for us? Don't disappoint. I won't. This is a belter. Whoa. Beyonce, Love on Top. I like that. Yeah. It goes high, doesn't it? She just keeps going. <laughs> key change after key change after key change. Is this your song? Do you sing this? Definitely not. I can't get that high. <laughs> okay. Good to know. We'll leave it to Beyonce. Yeah. Leave it to Beyonce. Enjoy it. I'll see you after. Bring the beat in.
Welcome back to a very special edition of At Home with Hayley and this time we are at the King's Theatre in Portsmouth catching up with some of the stars from this year's Pompey Panto and here is what happened when I caught up with Julia Worsley who is playing this year's baddie in the Pompey Panto. Now I am here with Julia Worsley who's playing Von Bad Apple in this year's Pompey Panto. Julia, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, yes. It's lovely to have you here and you're thank the baddie, you. aren't you? I am the baddie, yes. I always get cast in the baddie roles. And how much do you like playing the baddie? Because I think I'd have to play the goodie, but do you like... No, no, no. The baddie good... gets all the best parts. Yeah, you get the best songs, you get the best lines, you just get... Yeah, I love it. If you're going to do Panto, you've got to be the baddie. Right. And I saw you last year in Panto. You were absolutely brilliant. Thank and you. Where did your train come from because it's a real skill to be able to do what you do uh, so my history is mostly musical theatre I've done lots of West End shows oh, I've done, which ones uh, I've done Les Miserables I've done Oliver at the Palladium wow. I've done, yeah so I've got a history of musical theatre but also have done some musical theatre films like Les Miserables Evita so my history is really sort of performance, singing, acting, yeah. So it's singing, acting, dancing. Uh, I like to say I'm a confident mover rather than a dancer. It takes me a little bit of time to learn the steps, but Obviously, once I've learned great. them, I'm there. She's in there, like yeah. it. Well, what's your first song choice for us today, Julia? I've got a little bit alt kind of rock. So like my favourite band ever is a band called Alt J. Um, and I've picked one of their songs called Dead Crush because I just love the video. It's beautifully choreographed. It's just the most exquisite video. And it was the first band I took my eldest son to see down in Brighton. So yeah, it's, uh, it's my favourite band of all time. Right, we're going to check out that video right now. Lovely. Julia Walsley, even though she plays the baddie, she's really nice. I'm nice so in real life. She's nice in real life, <laughs> honestly. Come here. And uh, I want to know, what are you doing moving forward? Because obviously we've got Panto coming up, and then what are your plans? Um, I'd really love to get back into doing some telly. Um, if I had like a dream sort of job, I would say I love Shane Meadows. I've got my uh, This Is England reference Fred Perry top on. I love Shane Meadows, and he also just did a brilliant... Um, television program called The Virtues with Stephen Graham. Stephen Graham is one of my favourite actors and I would love to do something along the lines of that but yeah anything that Shane Meadows is involved in that's what I would like to be doing. Like it, watch this space. Well, what is your next song choice for us? Well I've gone a bit more mainstream, I've gone to the, uh, uh, I just think he's the possibly most prolific and phenomenal performer of all time that is Prince oh, yeah. and I've gone for my favourite Prince track which is Mountains. She's certain about this one. I'm absolutely certain yeah. yeah. Yeah it's a classic tune we're going to play that out on the show and we will see you on the other side. Welcome back to At Home with Hayley, a very special edition of tonight's show from the King's Theatre in Portsmouth. And here is what happened when I caught up with Marling Littlehill, who plays the fairy in this year's Pompey Panto. Oh, it's a real pleasure to be joined by Marling Littlehill, who plays the vegetable fairy <laughs> in Jack and the Beanstalk here at the Pompey Panto. It's so lovely to have you here. Thank you, Hayley. It's oh, great to be here. Yeah, and I want to <laughs> rewind how everything started for you, because okay. you just told me that last year was your first panto, which I can't very, believe. Very, very first panto ever, and I was so excitable I could hardly oh, contain myself. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. It's great fun. Yeah. I think... In theatre and actors and actresses, I think we have our greatest fun and our greatest emotions come out when we can be something completely different from our everyday. Yeah, so, it's yeah. Really true. But you've always trained in performing. Is I've that right? always performed, right. mostly singing. That's my base. That's yeah. where I started. I've sung from the time I can remember. So acting kind of was a natural right. segue into think them. Panto is a great segue. It's like, I get to sing and I get back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just so much fun. And it's just brilliant, isn't it, to be part of the Panto family this year? Absolutely. Come and see her. She's absolutely Bumpy brilliant. Pantomime. That is the level of energy we like. <laughs> so come and see us, absolutely. Yes. Well, what is your first song choice for us? My first song choice for you, and this is difficult for me because I there's so many songs pinging around in my head. But I love the energy and the creativity from Beyonce. And I yes. love her song, Exo. You cannot go wrong you, with you Beyonce. You just cannot. And I think I like most is because she can go from one motion to yes. another emotion um, in the course of two or three different songs. And Exo is one of those songs that talks about love. And it talks about that commitment and that devotion to love and that sort of push and pull um, yeah. that you have 
which is what a relationship is all about. It's not always wonderful. You know, some days are a little bit low and it yeah. takes that person that you're with to just kind of draw you out of that. So a bit of kisses and hugs works for me. I love that. I feel like I'm having a counselling <laughs> session here. It's wonderful. Well, we're going to play out the video. We can't wait to see you after. Your love is bright as ever. Marlene, I love your energy here on the show tonight. We're singing, we're dancing, we're having fun. And uh, your next song choice just makes me so incredibly happy. It's got to be done. I mean, it's toe tapping. It's all about wiggling the hips and getting your body moving. And I think particularly for this past couple of, well, past 18 months or so, it's time to get moving, yeah. guys. Let's be positive and yeah. blame it on the boogie. <laughs> <laughs> on you. I like that. We're going to play that on the show right now. And don't forget, you can come and see Marlene uh, playing the Vegetable Fairy in Panto. You don't want to miss it. Oh, what a show it's been. Thank you so much for having me down at the King's Theatre in Portsmouth. And a big thank you to the cast of the Pompey Panto. Uh, it's going to be an amazing show. So do get your tickets. We're going to be down there from the 27th of November to the 2nd of January. And we're going to put details on the screen below of how you can get hold of your tickets. Now, I will see you same time, same place next week. Thank you as always for tuning in and supporting the show. It really is very much appreciated. Thank you. And we thought we would leave you with some Reach of the Stars. See you next week.